Hey everybody, uh, Jesse here and I'm here with Greg Peterson and this is the Urban Farm Pop-Up Nursery here in Phoenix. Like, I found out about this, Greg, uh, from some other YouTube videos nice. here in Phoenix, uh, the vegan athlete. Oh yeah, I love yeah. Jake Mace. Jake Mace, good stuff. Jake Mace rocks. <laughs> yeah, so um, I heard about this tree sale, it just happened to be happening today, so uh -huh. I'm getting some trees for my project and I'm here nice. with Greg and I want to ask you, what is this all about here? <laughs> so, I run a fruit tree education program every year okay. where I'm teaching people how to best grow fruit trees here because the, the curious thing about growing fruit trees in the desert is you can go into most nurseries and they will tell you a fruit tree that will never make fruit here. And when I learned that, that pissed me off. It was like, and they're $100. And they're $100, right? And that's just not right. Yeah. That's just not right. So about 15, 16 years ago, I started giving classes in my living room mm -hmm. on how to grow fruit trees in the desert. Awesome. And it's just turned into this. And, we'll and that's, that's the urban farm? That's the urban farm. Urbanfarm.org, urban right? Yep, urbanfarm.org. Okay. My house is the urban farm. It's near 16th Street in Glendale, so it's in kind of north central Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I just, I teach people about what can, they can grow here in the desert. Awesome. That's first and foremost. And then if they want, they can purchase trees from us. Okay. And so then we're, right now we're at the pop-up nursery, which we do every January, February, and March. Mm -hmm. And regular, yes. yep. And people are, you know, shopping for trees. Anything with a pink label on it or a pink tag on it is available mm -hmm. extra. Uh, and, and people can, um, you know, pre-order their trees in the fall and even this time of year they can pre-order yeah. Okay, yeah. So urban farm people pre-ordered so they can get, this is the right yep. time of year to plant trees yeah. here in Arizona, So here's right? the, a couple of things about our fruit tree program. Number one is we only bring in stuff that will work mm -hmm. unless we tell you it's going to be an experiment. So everything on the lot here is on the right root stock. It's, it's self-fertile, um, so it, you don't need a second one. Um, let's see. And, um, and it's right now when we plant them. Mm -hmm. So we, these trees are meant to be planted in January, February. Oh, cool. And so you've got some other stuff here, um, like the minerals and the mulch and stuff. Yeah. What's all that stuff for? Yeah, so when you, want, when you plant your fruit trees, um, if you just take them home and put them in native soil, Good luck. Yeah. You know, the, yeah. they, they very well could die. Yeah. So we have this whole plan. In fact, Jake Mace is, uh, he's created this, his Mace Mix, mm -hmm. um, which is mycorrhiza, azomite, and worm castings in the hole when you plant your tree. And then put a nice big basin around your tree, you know, at least a six foot diameter basin with at least six inches of woody mulch in the basin. Mm -hmm. And what that does is that the interface between the native dirt and the woody mulch, it starts growing this incredible soil. Mm -hmm. And over time you get, you know, this basin around the tree that has all this great soil growing in it. It's got um, microbes in it, it you know, it's, it, the life is in the space. Um, and it acts as a sponge, so it holds the water in, plus it insulates from the hot summer sun. Yeah, it's really important so here. That's the basic. get burned here. Yeah. yeah. So the two biggest things you can do for success on your fruit trees are putting mace mix in the hole and a basin, a woody mulch basin around the tree. Okay. okay. And uh, what kind of trees do we got going here that so we can grow in Arizona? They're, they're in alphabetical order, except the ones right over here on the right. Um, back behind, yeah. those are our pecans, mm -hmm. right? these are our experimental, these are blueberries, and oh. they do grow here, okay. they take a little bit more work, yeah. um, and we've got instructions for you, you know, for people on that, and then we're in alphabetical order, we've got apples, and apricots, and peaches, and plums, and um, quinces, and mulberries over here. Okay. So. And then all the pomegranates and grapes yep, and, and then, figs and yep. everything else here. Yeah, all the yeah. all the potted ones in the middle are. Uh, so it's uh, I mean this is what zone nine and ten in Phoenix, right? Yeah. So you can grow a lot of stuff here. It's just the heat and the cold. Yeah. You have to kind of yeah deal with those. A little bit yeah. More. So I tell people this all the time. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to grow food here. You just have to know the rules. Yeah. If you don't know the rules, you're you know yeah. forget about it. But if you know the rules, and the rules are really simple for Phoenix. Yeah. And so that's that's really the big reason why I do what I do because I do free classes all the time on gardening in the desert, on how to grow fruit trees in the desert. Yeah. You know. And if people can grow food in the desert, they can grow it anywhere. Oh, right? big time. In fact, interestingly, the hardest time to grow is August and September. Mm -hmm. The rest of the year, like, you know, January, February, March, we can grow so much here in January, February, March. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Greg. And you thank bet. you Thanks for, for coming, man. people that grow food and trees here in the desert. Yeah. Right. Thank you guys for watching.